If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how we are shifting to zero touch production here at Mercari. Let's reflect on our end goal of zero touch production again. With the introduction of Carrier, we now have our approval system to get right permissions in production when needed. This foundation allowed us to employ a principle of least privilege for all engineers and now everyone has read-only permissions in production by default. However, we still have a very long way to go to reach our desired state of zero-touch production. Remember, in zero-touch production, we require all changes in production to be done by automation, safe proxies, or an audited break glass system. We have implemented our safe proxy but we still need to handle automation and break glass. And of course, Carrier itself is by no means complete on the initial implementation. We added improvements based on user feedback. The first improvement is a period extension feature. Sometimes a request ends up taking more time than expected and users would like to extend their initially granted request by some amount of time, instead of needing to go through the entire request and review process from the beginning when the request expires. So based on this feedback, we added a simple extension feature to add more time to a request, but maxing out at two times the initial request duration. For example, if the initial request was for 30 minutes, the request can be extended by another 30 minutes at most. We want users to only have write permissions for as long as they need, so this prevents them from having perpetual write access like before the migration. The second improvement is a break glass feature. We have received feedback that sometimes issues happen late at night and some teams only have a single person on call, and since Carrier requires approval from another person, that on-call person requires someone else from their team to approve their request. We also determined that Carrier could easily be extended to function as our break glass mechanism as well. Thus, we added a toggle when creating a request to create it as a break glass request. For the initial implementation of a break glass request, we added two major restrictions. The first restriction is that the requester must be a service owner. A regular carrier request allows anyone to request any role in any service, but the reviewer must be an owner of the service. The second restriction is that we only allow Kubernetes roles and a select subset of GCP roles to be granted. Since break glass permissions are granted immediately, we decided to restrict what roles can be granted to mitigate the risk and blast radius of malicious actions. This was also based on the fact that the vast majority of production issues could be solved with Kubernetes permissions alone. In terms of implementation, the only extra validation that Carrier does is consult the service catalog and ensure that the requester is a service owner and that the service itself has break glass requests enabled. With respect to the review flow, permissions are granted immediately without requiring an approval. Permissions will still be revoked immediately upon expiration of the request or if a rejecting review is created. The latter allows for other service owners to revoke permissions if they deem it unnecessary. Also, extra notifications and monitors are set up for break glass requests to ensure that they are not being abused. So to conclude, zero touch production is a concept where all the changes in production are done by automation, safe proxies, or an audited break glass system. This leads to a safer production environment by preventing human error and risk of a malicious user or compromised credentials. At Mercari, we initially had write permissions in production by default but have since migrated to read-only permissions in production for all microservices and implemented Carrier, a temporary role grant system, 
to get write permissions when needed. And Carrier can serve as our safe proxy and our audited break glass system. Some production operations are still done manually, so we haven't solved the human error issue yet, but we have greatly mitigated the risk of a malicious user or compromised credentials. And our current state of production is without a doubt an improvement compared to the previous state. Our next step is to reduce or remove the risk of human error. We plan to do this by implementing automation workflows to perform common production tasks on behalf of a user. For example, if a user wants to delete a file, they currently have to use Carrier to get elevated permissions and then manually enter the command to remove the file. But there are many ways where this can go wrong. They could delete the wrong file, or worse, they could delete the entire file system. Instead, we could provide automated workflows to perform these tasks, and we will significantly reduce the risk of, these, of the users making these errors. Despite having implemented Carrier as our temporary role grant system, it should actually be the secondary tool for production issues, with automation being the first choice. Once we have fully migrated to zero touch production, the disastrous scenarios in production from human error, a malicious user, or compromised credentials will be an issue of the past. Thank you. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We periodically upload videos focusing on Mercari engineers, the technologies that we use, and our culture. Thank you.